Alpha, somebody lied. And we need to know who. An explosive revelation that two Quebec ministers were aware of the crisis at the Heron long-term care facility before they said they knew. Elles n'ont pas agi au temps opportun. Elles avaient de l'information. Ce sont des gens qui nous ont menti. An email obtained by Radio Canada shows that the minister responsible for seniors, Marguerite Blé, and the health minister in 2020, Danielle McCann, were advised of troubling staff shortages at the CHSLD Heron on March 29th and 30th, respectively, contradicting what they told the coroner that they only learned about the chaotic situation when they read it in the newspaper. That article was published April 10, 2020. What do we have in this email? They say the Sius, so Mrs. McVie, uh, responsible of the Sius, she will take charge of this situation in Aaron. So, of course, Mrs. Blair, Mrs. McCann, myself, we were comfortable to hear that the Sius was taking charge of the situation. The West Island Long-Term Care Centre was ravaged by COVID-19. Staff quit en masse, leaving residents who were dehydrated, soiled and ridden with COVID-19 to their own devices. About 100 seniors died in dire circumstances. When asked about the email, McCann Regardez mon témoignage, lisez-le. referred the media to her testimony during the coroner's inquiry. Blade defended herself, saying that when she read the email, she trusted the local health authority was doing its job. I felt that someone was taking care of the CHSLD Iran. The lawyer representing families who lost loved ones during the tragedy says the email further proves the health authority's responsibility in the tragedy. And along with several members of the National Assembly, he says only a public inquiry can truly shed light into what happened and hold those responsible accountable. We cannot simply file a few reports, brush this aside and move on. We have to honor their memory and make sure that we implement durable change. The regional authority, which took over the private long-term care facility, declined to speak to us. The coroner's report is expected in the next few months. Gloria Enriquez, Global News, Quebec City.